Inside a typical Navy billet is Lieutenant J.G. Hank Morgan. Just an ordinary naval aviator, diligent, studious, interested in sensations. A man of unwavering powers of concentration. A man who uses his head. Did you ever consider what might be inside a head? Especially a naval aviator's head? The central operator, or head man, is known as Mr. Wheel. But uh, Mr. Wheel has to make the decisions and he needs help, which he gets mainly from the visual sensory operator, known as 2020. And the memory department, called Memo for short. He's an efficient fellow, but, uh, well, he forgets. Urgent mission at 1400. Oh, hmm. I have a flight today. Morgan's in the air, his feet are on the ground, and all of his sensory operators are on their toes. And this is inner ear operator called Otto, eager, ambitious, been out of work for some time, but he's hopeful. I believe I can help you, Mr. Wheel. I'm handling a brand new sensory organ. I like to call it the Otolith. Very sensitive, responsive to G and acceleration. And the effect stays with you. What have you got on Otolith? Oh, me? Uh, well, uh... Okay, why, set up your uh, equipment. We'll try. Uh... <laughs> yes, sir. All set up and you're now straight and left. Otolith, Otolith. I think it's... How does it feel? Fine, but... Uh... Good, don't worry. We've got a green ticket and we're still straight and level. demonstrate one of the ways in which a pilot may be misled by reliance on his senses, let's examine the functioning of the otolith, a small organ within the inner ear. Its many tiny sensory hairs give the sensation of turning. Representing these by one, we can see how it functions. See? Sitting upright on the ground, the force of G due to gravity holds the hair upright. When we tilt, the G bends the hair, causing the sensation of leaning. In the air, a bank during a turn does not cause the hair to bend since the force due to gravity combines with the centrifugal force of the turn to hold the hair in place. Thus, the otolith causes no sensation of tilting. I may explain. Uh, rely upon your instruments, Pat. The best indicator of attitude. 